You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin for supporting the Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live uncommon. It is a new year, and that means it is a time for us to check in with our friends at Lutheran Church Extension Fund. Joining us today, Rahima Kavuga, Director of Synod Relations for LCEF. Rahima, welcome to the Coffee Hour. Thank you so much for having me. Rahima, can you give us a quick reminder of the work of LCEF today in the LCMS? Yes. So we are so excited that God has just been graciously good to us. And since 1978 and through even the pandemic, he continues to generously bless the work of LCES. And so it's our financial strength that allows us to do what truly matters, providing resources to support, strengthen, and grow LCMS workers, churches, schools, and organizations. And when this happens, more lives are touched by the hope of Jesus. And so we're so thankful for that. Our commitment to the church continues to be unwavering, and we want the number of lives impacted by the loving service of LCMS ministries to grow. We want every single worker or ministry to have the opportunity to dream, and then with God's blessing, see that dream become a reality. So that's what we do, and we love doing it. So one of those things that you're able to do is publish a a national magazine, Interest Time. Tell me what interest time is, why is this different from the other publications that the LCMS puts out, like the Lutheran Witness Reporter, Lutherans Engage? What makes interest time different? Yeah, so many of us know the Lutheran Witness, which focuses on Lutheran confession, so pretty theological in nature. The reporter gives us news around the LCMS, and Lutherans Engage explores the work of witness and mercy across the globe. What makes us unique with Interest Time is we're able to celebrate the great things in our synod. In particular, we look for creative ways LCMS ministries solve problems in ministries or communities. Of course, LCS finances these projects, which is how we find out about them. Still, we are super excited about these projects and what other people and want other people to hear about them. So can you give us an example of some of the stories that we find in interest time? Yeah. So one of my favorites is about Martin Luther High School, which is located in right outside the Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They had an interesting situation. They had a large enrollment of international students, but they didn't always have affordable accommodations. So they started to envision a two-story building that had dorms and living space on the second floor for those students. And on the first floor had retail space. And leasing that space would allow them to subsidize the cost of those dorm rooms. And it was a really creative way to solve a problem they had. So that's one of the great examples. Most of our loans, however, are usually pretty conventional. Like, for instance, a church may need to repair a leaky roof or a church worker needs a home loan or maybe a school needs to update some classrooms. A congregation might even be looking to build a new sanctuary or update their current space. And so we meet those needs forward. But in interest time, we like to share stories about ministries that are thinking outside the box, like Martin Luther High School that I was talking about earlier. So not just around the U.S., sometimes we share some of the things that we get to do outside of the U.S. as well. I have another example, and it's about St. Matthew Lutheran Church in Bel Air, Maryland. And what's unique about them is they don't pay a utility bill. The reason why they don't pay a utility bill is that they have actually been fully solar powered since 2019. And so that's been really unique. Instead of paying a utility bill, they pay back their LCF loan over these 12 years and their monthly bill gets lower each month because of the money they save being powered, being poured back into serving the community. Another example that we have is Bethesda Cornerstone Village in Victoria, Minnesota. It's the first of its kind living community. The Cornerstone Village is unique because it's open to seniors with disabilities. And so what problem is that solving? If a disabled person wants to live independently, his options are often minimal of dubious quality. Cornerstone Village allows them the opportunity to enjoy an independent living space that you and I could afford. So that's the particular kind of unique vision LCF loves to get financially behind. That kind of ministry, growth, and innovation is what we want to inspire. So we want people in our church to dream big and reach out to LCF if we can make it happen. So 
how is it possible for organizations like Cornerstone Village or the congregations or schools to be able to 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 have loans like this in order to carry out the the ministries that they've been given? Yeah. So when they reach out to us, obviously, in a very straightforward way, we have to take a look at what their plan is and the ways of sustainability. So that helps us determine what we are able to do. But we also get to walk alongside them. We have teams like our real estate team and our ministry solutions. They get to help them more than just finance to look at that vision, mission, clarity work and to help with any sort of campaigns, as well as to be able to assess the property and space that they might need in order to make their vision a reality. So these, uh, there are so many stories about uh, the work being done around the Synod and, and internationally as well, but there's, uh, there's aspects of articles talking about our Lutheran faith as well. Is that right? That is correct. So each of our interest time magazines like to take an approach and explore the tradition and confession as if the reader were an outsider. So we assume nothing and we talk about the Lutheran views on education, stewardship, vocation, mission, and what it means to be a Lutheran. We take these for granted sometimes, I think, especially like myself, born and raised Lutheran, but to an outsider, they're an attractive feature of Lutheranism. So we like to celebrate those too. In the last few issues, actually, we've made a point on focusing particularly on church workers. And that that emphasis on church workers is something we've had the privilege of doing in the Set Apart to Serve series. And I know that that is a great new emphasis with LCEF as well. Do you want to talk a little bit more about Set Apart to Serve, how you're sharing that in interest time and other ways with LCEF? Yeah, thanks so much, Andy. You're right. Our issue that just came out this past November focused on the LCMS Set Apart to Serve, where we share stories about young men and women who choose careers in church work and the simple but powerful influences that steered them into such positions. It's a rallying cry to encourage everyone to do their part in finding and forming these essential servants to proclaim the gospel. We know that church workers are critical and crucial, and we always need more church workers to share the gospel. So we wanted to do our part in ensuring that we can share, hopefully, these stories so that it can encourage potential church workers like all of us on this call. And, and not just potential church workers, but LCEF does a wonderful job of supporting church workers who are in the field as well. I know as a church worker, I've benefited from that. Do you want to share just a little bit about what LCEF does to support church workers too? Yes, exactly. One of the previous issues that we had focused on church worker wellness as we take took a look at everything. And so LCEF really gets to focus on the financial wellness, health and wellness of our church workers. We do that through offering investments with high high interest costs for, for church workers so that they're able to invest. But then we also help with home mortgages that are, are available for our rostered church workers at a really low rate. As we know, it's really tough right now in the housing market. And so we're able to do that. We also have recently have acquired Grace Place Wellness, which takes a holistic approach for church worker wellness. And we felt that was really important for LCF as we continue to support church workers through that. So we offer a lot of different ways to meet the needs of the church. And as you pointed out, a lot of these stories are also in interest time. How do we find interest time? Is it print, electronic? How do we get a copy of interest time? Yes, it's all of those ways. So one of the first things that you should know is that interest time is free. It's free to anyone. And there are different ways that you can subscribe. One of those is to go online at interesttime.org slash subscribe, where you can fill out information about yourself so that we can mail future, uh, future issues to you. On the same website, you can also request back issues if you haven't read those, and you can also view them online. So you can request something to be mailed out to you, or you can receive a digital copy. Now, how often does this uh, publication come out? Is this monthly or quarterly? We do this quarterly. Yep. Do we have any, can you, can you give us any uh, sneak peek into what the next issue might cover? You know, that's a great question. I actually have, 
I actually have no idea. Sometimes our creative service team that works on this has a variety of topics, but we continue to explore different ways. So if people have some ideas or some stories that they'd like to share, we'd always love to hear from you as we continue to, again, uh, lift up all the wonderful things that the church is doing in many and various ways. I will say we will be talking a little bit in our next issue about the art contest. So as you know, LCF just wrapped up the 175 art contest. And we had over 500 entries, which has been a joy and delight to go through. And so we'll be announcing those winners before the end of the month. And so we'll be getting to, to know a little bit more about our wonderful artists from all over the country in art. How exciting. Well, we look forward to sharing that as well. Now, I, as a, as a member of LCEF, get a print copy of Interest Time, which is great. If you want to use the electronic copy, I, I got to tell you, the experience is pretty similar because even when you turn the pages in electronic copy, it sounds like you're turning a paper page. <laughs> so interesttime.org. Our guest today, Rahima Kavuga, Director of Synod Relations for Lutheran Church Extension Fund. Rahima, thanks so much for being our guest on The Coffee Hour today. Thanks for having me. You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. 